hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have a square minus b square is equals to 11 but here we have one more condition on the question statement is that here our a b should must be belongs to positive integer okay it means that uh, we just saw this problem for the positive integer values of a and b and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now the very first thing we are going to do is here first in the left hand side you see here this is the very famous algebraic formula and you also know about that a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b is equals to 11 and now here uh, we need to focus into the right hand side and you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so uh, here we need to uh, find any two positive numbers whose product becomes 11 so we have uh, the possibilities uh, to get 11 are 11 multiplied by 1 is equals to 11 and 1 multiplied by 11 is equals to 11 so here we have uh, these are the two possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers is 11 so uh, now we convert our given question statement into the uh, two cases so here our first case we compare these two factors with these two numbers after comparing this we get a minus b is equals to 11 and uh, the second one is a plus b is equals to 1 so we have these are the two equations we call this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 so here uh, first uh, we find the values of a and b from the first case so for this we add equation number 1 and equation number 2 so when we add uh, these two equations it will be written as a minus b is equals to 11 and a plus b is equals to 1 so when we add these two equations you see here this is negative b and positive b are gone and this is a plus a becomes 2a 11 plus 1 becomes 12 and for the values of a we need to divide both of the sides by 2 and when we divide it by 2 it will becomes 2a over 2 is equals to 12 over 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12 so here we get the value of a is equals to 6 this is the our first uh, integer positive integer values of a so for the values of b we put uh, this value of a in equation number 1 so our equation number one is that a minus b is equals to 11 so here we put the value of a is 6 here and it will becomes 6 minus b is equals to 11 and this implies that 6 minus 11 is equals to b we move this to the right hand side and 11 to the left hand side so further in the next step we have 6 minus 11 becomes minus 5 is equals to b or we get here b is equals to minus 5 so you see here minus 5 is not belongs to positive integers okay so if uh, this means that the value of b is not positive integer so uh, we just rejected this case because we solve this problem only uh, in positive integer values of a and b so this is not satisfied our given question statement and now here we write the second case uh, and in second case we need to compare uh, these uh, we compare these two values with these two values okay so when we compare these two factors with this we will get here a minus b is equals to 1 and a plus b is equals to 11 also we call this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 so further in the next step we add first we add equation number three and equation number four after adding these two equations we will get here a minus b is equals to one and a plus b is equals to eleven 
so when we add these two equations you see here again these two are gone and you get here 2a is equals to 11 again for the values of a we divide by 2 when you divide by 2 these are gone and this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12 so here we get the value of a is equals to 6 so this is the positive integer value of a and now here we need to put this value of a into the equation number 3 so when we put this value of a in this equation it will be written as 6 minus b is equals to 1 and here uh, we move minus b to the right hand side and 1 to the left hand side and we get the value of b is 6 minus 1 becomes 5 and this is the our b so here we get the value of b is also a uh, positive integer so the second case uh, in the second case we get here uh, the solution according to the given question statement so that the final solution of this question is a b is equals to the value of a is 6 and the value of b is 5 so this is the our uh, final solution which we get here from uh, second case and, and now here in the next step we need to verify this solution and we will check that is this solution is satisfied our given question statement or not so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is a square minus b square equals to 11 and now we substitute uh, first the above both values of a and b into the left hand side of this equation and we check its behavior so the value of a is 6 it will become 6 square minus the value of b is 5 square is equals to 11 and further in the next step we have 6 square becomes 36 5 square becomes 25 is equals to 11 so 36 minus 25 is equals to 6 minus 5 becomes 1 3 minus 2 is also becomes 1 is equals to uh, 1 into 1 this is 11 so this shows that the value of a b equals to 6 is satisfied our given question statement so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos